Introvert vs Extrovert vs Ambivert, which one are you? There's a lot of talk about introverts vs extroverts, and for the longest time, you were either one or the other. However, there is another personality type known as an ambivert, which sits in the middle of the introverted extroverted spectrum. In this video, we look at all three personality types and their characteristics. Knowing the distinctions can help you better understand yourself and others. Perhaps it will even make you more effective in your daily life. Are you an extreme introvert? You tend to refuel as an introvert by spending time alone. Being alone with your thoughts is as calming as sleeping and as nourishing as eating. You also have a tendency to overthink things, especially before speaking or making a decision. Unexpected shifts and last-minute surprises are frequently unpleasant. You like a small, close circle of friends and enjoy spending time with them one-on-one. -on -one. However, you are not necessarily bashful. You can even find it difficult to avoid social situations. However, being with others for extended periods of time depletes your energy reserves. After being in a throng, you surely need some alone time. Are you a strong extrovert? You actually get energy from people if you are an extrovert. Your energy is directed outward, toward people and objects. You require a lot of stimulus and have no trouble expressing yourself. You notice that spending too much time alone depletes your energy, and you recharge by being social. You enjoy diversity and action, and you strive for success. Many of you want to alter the world, in some way, and are more willing to put yourself out there and actually do something about it. You are easily accessible and intelligible as an extrovert, and you have a calm and confident demeanor. You, on the other hand, tend to act first and think later. Ambivert are you? You are an ambivert if you have both outgoing and introverted characteristics. This suggests that you enjoy being with people in general, but after a while, they will begin to drain you. Similarly, you love silence and seclusion, but only for a limited time. You replenish your energy levels through a combination of social interaction and alone time. You may also come off as uninteresting to others if you fall in the middle of the scale. However, this balance can be beneficial. You are adaptable and can handle most situations well. The extremes of personality types are introverts and extroverts. Ambiverts are in the middle, perfectly balanced between the two tendencies. Is this to say that one personality type is superior to the other? No, it does not. The truth is that the world requires all of these personality types, and we interact with a wide range of people in our daily lives, from severe introverts to extreme extroverts, and everyone in between. Which of these personality types are you? And how do those characteristics affect you in your personal and professional life? Please let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching, as always. Please like, share, and SUBSC Rive if you enjoyed this video.